Hey, what's up? This is my ESP LTD MH401B FM baritone guitar. I'll uh, break down the model number for you. So the M headstock, it's that inline sharp angled headstock is what the M is for. The H is for the horizon body shape. The four, it's a 400 series. The one is because it's a six string. If it was a 407B, it would be a seven string. The B of course is for baritone and FM is for the uh, flame maple top. And also the matching headstock is got the flame maple finish. In order to show off that flame maple, it's got a trans black sunburst finish. It has black hardware on both the knobs, the bridge. It has Grover tuners that are also black. It has a three-way toggle switch for your two pickups. The pickups are EMG active. It's the classic combo, the 85 in the neck, the 81 in the bridge. It is a tunematic bridge string through the body. It does have uh, some binding around the body, slightly off-white binding. That binding continues up the neck where you've got dot inlays there on the side. They don't glow or anything. They're just black dots. It's 24 fret. They're uh, extra large jumbo. Um, it's also uh, neck through construction as you can see. It is a mahogany body and it is a, a three-piece maple neck. It has a, uh, I think it's just a nylon nut up here on the headstock. It's got the truss rod underneath the truss rod cover there. Nothing too fancy as far as those specs go. I bought this guitar in uh, November of 2016. The whole point of a baritone is to be able to tune a lot lower than normal and maintain your intonation and your string tension that you want at those lower tunes. So a normal baritone is tuned to a B standard. Lowest to highest is uh, you have B, E, A, D, F sharp, B. This one I actually have tuned to A standard. I've got it all set up in that. It sounds great. I don't have any fret buzz. I love the tension on this particular guitar. 27s really like B and A standard. I have a drop pedal that I will use for lower tunings. G. Another step down is F. Play this thing at the virtual low E like a bass. I love how it feels in A, so I keep it there mostly. You know, they're tuned to B or A, which is basically half an octave down from, from your regular E, half an octave up from a bass. And the cool part about that is all of your fingerings are the same. So you can play all the same songs, all your same chords, and all the same scales. They're just half an octave lower. So it makes it really easy to transition to. String spacing is the same. In fact, what's funny is these strings and the neck is actually a hair closer to each other than my Stratocaster. Now your stretches are longer because 27 inch compared to 25 and a half. It doesn't sound like much. Oh, it's only an inch and a half, but it's, it's noticeable. I place things on the 27 inch or my 26 and a half inch seven string. And then when I transition to the back to the Strat to play something, it's like, wow, this thing is tiny. Another baritone fact. Baritones are generally thought of as instruments between 27 inch and 30 inch scale lengths, 27 to 30. Once you hit 30 inch, you're really starting to get into short scale bass territory or bass six. As far as strings go, where are my strings? The Ernie Ball slinkies, as you can see the gauge is there. The little string, the high B, 13, 18, 30, 44, 56, and that low E string is a 72. It's a big old bridge cable. And also this set, it doesn't indicate on here, but the four string, that 30, is a wound string. I also have a very special set of strings. These. These are uh, the Buns. Uh, his band is the Forens. So this is the Buns signature string set. Very rare. Very hard to get. I got this in 2016. Black Friday sale. Basically, I was able to get the baritone and its matching fitted hard case, which is good. It's a little baritone being 27 inch, but with that long inline headstock, it doesn't fit in most guitar cases. The sale allowed me to get this guitar with its matching case. The case was basically free. You know.